All right, good Thursday morning, everyone. We are following a host of retail earnings, and I'm here with Jim Kramer on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. And Jim, let's first get your take on Best Buy. Yeah, Best Buy was amazing, and really a lot of it is this Nintendo Switch. I did a video yesterday which suggested you buy Best Buy. Why did I do that? Because Target had incredible numbers for Nintendo Switch. It is the game. It uses an NVIDIA chip. Everybody, it's the craze right now. They also talked about PCs doing well. Remember, HP, HPQ, had a remarkable quarter two supply uh, with printers and uh, with PCs. This is Best Buy's time. All right, what did you make of Dollar Tree? Dollar Tree was just okay. I wanted better, and a lot of that is because Dollar Tree is doing well, but the family dollar is still down. Uh, of the discounters last night, the one that to look at was Burlington this morning. Burlington had really fabulous numbers, and they boosted the forecast. Remember, you're getting the recipe for what works. Burlington is a in a strip mall that has discount with low inventory. They'll be able to take in a lot of the inventory from a Macy's or JCPenney and mark it up. I do expect TJX to do the same thing. This is a golden moment to buy TJX, an actionalertsplus.com club name. Okay, what about PVH? I know you had Mandy on I think night. the PVH is going to have a multi-year move. Why do I feel that way? Because now I see they've been able to manage the inventories in the U.S. They've got a handle on it. But they are now showing double-digit gains in Europe and starting to really come on strong in China. This is Tommy Hilfiger and this is uh, Calvin Klein. They have consolidated all these brands. They've got them very lean. The inventories are terrific. That company can go up for some time. It's been way behind the S&P. Manny Trico doing a fabulous job. All right, moving to the home, how about William Sonoma? William Sonoma is very good. What I like about William Sonoma is they're switching to really trying to be a digital model using the bricks and mortar as showcase. Kind of funny because we always heard that the showcase for, uh, was bricks and mortar and then you went to Amazon, but William Sonoma doing quite good. Laura Albert's getting her hands around things. Uh, Wayfair is the one that has been disruptive in that business. A lot of shorts in Wayfair, uh, but I do think that Wayfair, even though they're not making money, has been able to keep chugging. And when you can keep chugging in the digital space, good things tend to happen. All right, one retailer the media loves to talk about, Sears. Yeah, you know, look, I, you know, Sears, the number, Kmart and, and, and Sears themselves were down double digits, but uh, the media does, like, Brian Sozzi does some fabulous work on it for, uh, for us, but you have to recognize that it's not a big company anymore, and uh, Carol Tomei, in an interview with The Street, said, look, uh, she's the CFO of Home Depot, Sears remains a share donor. They do have about $18 billion in sales. They're closing stores, so it is still rather remarkable that they have um, comps that are so negative for the ones that are supposed to be good, but it's a closely held company by Eddie Lamp, Burton by Bruce, uh, by, by a fair home. It, it, there's no real stock left to sell other than flippers who buy ahead of a quarter and then flip it. Um, it's not, it's, it's uh, a cold stock at this point, owned by a, a hedge fund manager. Okay, all right, let's talk about some tech names. Netflix had its price target raised at uh, MKM. It was an important piece, and Opco too. I mean, you know, what, what people are talking about, was Piper, I'm sorry, uh, people are talking about international being really fabulous, and I, I think that's true. I think that people are underestimating what Reed Hastings is able to do. I mean, he picks the best actor in Brazil for Narcos. He's doing international using... Uh, he's done something that most people don't realize is that he's been able to do programming with titles and Americans tend not to like titles, but it's working. Uh, don't forget, you have a house of cards coming. A lot of people felt that Amazon was going to knock them out. That has clearly not happened. It remains a real bargain. Amazon's a bargain. Netflix is a bargain. Costco's a bargain. People love a bargain. All right, and then on Mad Dash on Squawk on the Street, you talked about Logitech. You have the CEO on yeah, tonight. Yeah, and I, this was what I want people to do. Ben Sato, thank you so much. Uh, in golden age of esports, terrapins are seen green. This is today's Washington Post. Esports is sweeping the nation by storm, actually sweeping the world by storm. And you need Logitech keyboards to compete because they have the fastest keyboard. A lot of schools are giving scholarships to the people who play esports, to the kids. And uh, esports is selling out uh, Madison Square Garden, uh, the Boston Garden, very, very fast. People go to watch League of Legends. Players play League of Legends. I think ultimately the winner will be Take Two because Take Two owns the rights to the NBA, and there will be basketball teams. That that will come from eSports. Take two, even at 79, it's going higher. Hmm. All right, and then we'll end as we always do with earnings to watch another retailer, Big Lots. Big Lots is a discounter, and the discounters have done better uh, than the, the big caps, but I would call in mind, again, I'd rather buy Burlington up for, I'd rather buy TGX right here. TGX is setting up for a really, really good quarter, uh, and it's, a, you know, we've got a lot of good action alerts names, but TGX is the one we're buying right here. All right, Jim Kramer, thank you so much. As always, and for more information on the stocks Jim just mentioned, please head back to thestreet.com.